Today, there are approximately 107 historically black colleges and universities in the U.S., with a student enrollment of 228,000. 56 HBCUs are private and 51 are public. Cheney University of Pennsylvania became the first and oldest HBCU in 1837. It was established to a $10,000 endowment from Richard Humphreys, a Quaker philanthropist, to design and establish a school to educate people of African descent and prepare them as teachers. First known as the African Institute, the school was soon renamed the Institute for Colored Youth. In 1914, it was renamed the Cheney Training School for Teachers and now Cheney University. Many well-known alumni attended, including the late Ed Bradley Jr., legendary journalist and award-winning 60 Minutes correspondent. Prior to the Civil War, most Southern states banned the education of African Americans and it was largely discouraged in Northern states. This resulted in only four institutions of higher learning for African Americans. Cheney University, 1837, University of the District of Columbia, 1851, Lincoln University, 1854, and Wilberforce University, 1856. Most HBCUs were started by philanthropists and free blacks, southern states ordered by the federal government, and religious organizations such as the American Missionary Association, AMA, and the African Methodist Episcopal AME Church. According to U.S. News Ranking System in 2021, the top 10 HBCUs in descending order are number 10, Fisk University. Notable alumni include W.E.B. Du Bois and Ida B. Wells. Number 9, Clayfin University. Known for having a student to faculty ratio of 13 to 1. Tied for the next spots, we have Florida A&M. Well-known alumni include Wimbledon champ Althea Gibson and Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. The next, North Carolina A&T State University. Notable alumni include American Nassau astronaut and physicist Ronald McNair and the Reverend Jesse Jackson. Number six, Morehouse College. Morehouse has produced five Rhodes Scholars, the most of any HBCU. Most notable alum include the most visible spokesperson and leader in the civil rights movement, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Film director, producer, screenwriter, and actor, Spike Lee. American actor and producer, Samuel L. Jackson. And Reverend Victor T. Hall Sr., Senior Pastor of Calvary Baptist Church, Jamaica, Queens, New York. Number five, Hampton University. Notable alum include Booker T. Washington. Number four, Tuskegee University. Founded by Booker T. Washington, instructional home of scientist George Washington Carver, and also known for producing the Tuskegee Airmen. Number three, Xavier University of Louisiana, the number one producer of African-American medical students, including former U.S. Surgeon General Regina Benjamin. Other notable alum include former U.S. Secretary of Labor Alexis Herman and the first African-American mayor of New Orleans, Ernest Dutch Morial. Number two, Howard University, H-U, you know, home of the country's first Black-owned public television station, W-H-U-T, and notable alumni Paul Lawrence Dunbar, Chadwick Boseman, Wakanda Forever, and the first female, African-American, and Asian-American Vice President of the United States of America, Kamala Harris. And finally, ranked number one, Spelman College, founded as Atlanta Baptist Female Seminary in a church basement. Notable alumni include Pulitzer Prize winning author 
Alice Walker, Spellman Valedictorian, Marion Wright Elderman, founder of the Children's Defense Fund, and American politician, voting activist, and Nobel Peace Prize nominee, Stacy Yvonne Abrams. Some argue HBCUs are in danger of being destroyed by diversity. Recent research showed total enrollment up slightly by 2.1%, but this increase is not coming from the enrollment of African American students. An alarming 45% of HBCU enrollment growth is coming from non-black students and the number of African-American male students is declining. Nearly one-fourth of students at historically black colleges and universities today are not African-American. <laughs>